Hi there folks, thanks for checking out this video. This is Will with another PC repair video here for you. Uh, this one's going to be for those of you that are running Windows Vista and uh, also Windows 7 as well, you might get this error message. And that is boot MGR is compressed. And you'll find that one day you come up to your computer, you switch it on and Windows Vista just won't load up. Okay, and instead you get this message boot MGR is compressed. Okay, um... So first of all, what is Boot MGR? Well, Boot MGR, it stands for Boot Manager, and it's a file that's used by Windows Vista to load your computer up. Okay, so cut and dry, that's what it is. And basically, as, as is with all important system and Windows files, um, these files should never under any circumstances be compressed because whilst files are in their compressed state they can't be used and basically windows would normally have to decompress the file um, which will then allow you to use it and then when you're finished it would recompress it but for system files it can't decompress them okay they can't be decompressed before windows is booted up so it's a fatal error and you'll never get into windows Okay, so uh, the causes for this could be a virus, viruses and uh, and some nasty bits of software have been known to compress system files to stop you booting up. Um, it could also have been done uh, maybe accidentally, perhaps you've compressed your entire C drive um, in the belief that it would save you a lot of disk space. Um, and basically we've got to get that lifted. So basically we've got to go in and get the compression lifted off this boot MGR file and that will let you boot back into Windows Vista. Okay, now the way that, um, that, that I would have you repair this is by using your Windows Vista CD. Now if you installed Windows Vista yourself, this will be the disk that, that you use to put Windows on your machine. Okay, and um, or you can use a Windows Vista repair disk. If you've got one of those, that's absolutely fine. So what you need to do is you need to take your Windows Vista repair disk or your Windows Vista operating system disk and put it in your drive, which is what I'm doing now. Okay, and just give that a moment to spin up. And then as soon as that's spinning up, um, the next thing that we need to do is actually reboot this machine round. Okay, so at this point, you press Control-Alt-Delete on your computer and that would restart it. Now I'm just going to boot mine, reboot mine from up here because it's a virtual machine. Okay, so that's just uh, booting back round. Okay, just give that a moment. So it says press any key to boot to the CD or DVD. And I've just pressed enter, but you can press any key. Okay, and then it's going to say Windows is loading files. Okay, now this is basically going to take a couple of minutes. Um, so I'm going to pause this video and as soon as it's loaded all those files we'll come back and I'll show you what you need to do next. Okay so all those files are now loaded across and once they're all finished you're going to wind up at a screen that looks a little something like this and this is basically um, the Windows Vista version of the Windows XP recovery console. Okay and it's going to take a moment and then you're going to get a splash screen pop up for Windows Vista. First thing you need to do is select your language, okay, and then just come down to the next button. And now it's going to ask you what would you like to do. And you need to come down to the bottom left to this little link here where it says repair your computer. Okay, so just click on that and just give that a moment to uh, to search for Windows installations. If you are dual booting, it's going to list all of your Windows installations that you've got. Now, nine times out of ten, you're only going to have the one installation of Windows, which is exactly what I've got, so chances are you're going to be seeing exactly the same as what I do. Okay, so just give that a moment to search for installations, and it will list all your Windows installations here. Now, if you've got more than one, make sure you pick the right one. Okay, if you don't, then you're going to be fixing something that's not broken and you'll probably cause yourself uh, a bit of a headache so make sure you pick the right one okay now I've only got the one so that's selected now the first thing that we need to do is make sure that the C drive the entire C drive has not been compressed okay that's the first thing that we're going to check okay so after we've selected it we're going to click on this load drivers button okay and then just click on OK 
And now what you need to do is come over to the computer icon over here and just click on that. And this shows your drives. And what you need is the C drive, okay? This is where the boot manager file lives. It actually lives on this drive. It's a part of Windows. So we're gonna right click on this drive and come down to properties. Okay, and the window will open at the back here. Okay, I'll just uh, close some of these out. Okay, now this basically shows how full up your drive is. Okay, it gives you the used space and the free space. Now, what we're interested in is this little attribute down here, compress this drive to save disk space. Now, you need to make sure that this little tick box over here is unticked. Okay, you don't want it ticked. Under no circumstances should you ever compress your C drive. Okay, your C drive has got all the important system files, all the important Windows files on it. And if you compress it, you're going to find yourself running into all kinds of boot up problems because Windows cannot operate when the system files are compressed. Okay, and there's a lot of viruses and a lot of attacks out there that are designed to compress files to try and stop your computer from booting. Okay, so you need to make sure that this is unticked. So if you came in here and that was ticked, if it looked something like that, then you need to come in here and untick it. Okay, chances are that's going to be what's causing the problem. Okay, and make sure that's unticked and click on apply and click on OK. Now, if your drive was compressed, after you've clicked OK, it's going to decompress it for you. Now, depending on the size of your drive that could take quite a while it isn't unusual for it to take anything from one hour to two hours if you're talking about a, a 200 to 500 gigabyte hard drive okay so depending on the size of your drive you might need to be a bit patient there but if you came in and like mine that wasn't ticked the c drive isn't the problem Okay, so your C drive isn't compressed, so it must be that the individual boot MGR file was compressed, okay, not the entire drive. So what we're going to do now, if that didn't solve your problem, is come down here, select the version of Windows, and click on Next. And then it's going to put you into the system recovery options. And what you need to do here is come to the Startup Repair. OK, now this is going to automatically fix problems that will prevent Windows Vista from starting. OK, so you just click on this and it, it'll do a very quick automatic repair of your system. OK, so once you've run that, it'll tell you that it's finished and that you need to click finish in order to restart it. Click restart. OK, and if that's repaired the issue, Windows Vista will now start. OK, just ignore that. That's because I've still got my Windows Vista disk in my drive. OK. Just give that a moment. OK, and Windows Vista is now starting. OK, so in my case, it was the individual boot MGR file that was causing the problem and I know it was because I went in there and compressed the individual file but this can be because the entire C drive is compressed or because the individual boot MGR file is compressed either way it's just a matter of finding out which one is causing the issue so if it's the C drive untick the compression attribute if it's the boot MGR file then a startup repair should fix it for you Okay, I'm just going to log into Windows Vista just to confirm that everything's working okay. Okay, and we're into Windows Vista. Okay, so that is how you can repair the boot MGR is compressed error message if you find that you're running into it on Windows Vista. Now, it's a very similar repair process for Windows 7. I uh, hope this has been some use to you. Uh, if that didn't work for you for whatever reason, please let me know and if you ran into any kind of issues and I'll do my best to kind of point you in the right direction. Uh, please leave your comments and your feedback, love getting that stuff. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next video.